This new adventure began in early 2020, in the early days of the pandemic. The world had come to a snap stop and suddenly resumed rotating in reverse gear. History will explain everything to us in due time, maybe 20 or 30 years from now, as often happened with the state secret. He walked lost through the street of a foreign city and made other people confused and shocked in turn by a curfew and an isolation incomprehensible to everyone, heading so chaos to chaos. He walked in a society who raised their own child in the rubbish and in the deception, and that generate as the only final product, lies, vanity, envy, anger, frustration and corruption for every corner of the earth. This modus operandi did not give him neither appetite nor taste, and he looked for a healthy meal at another table. This brought back his memory to the time of the kitchens, where he took his first step in the world of work. Over time, he had learned how to cook for himself a healthy meal for body and spirit. Of the kitchen, he loved the bow hole, the knives, the fire and the pan. The kitchen was always for him a driving force for new journey and discoveries. His was a rustic and authentic cuisine, made all of belly in substance. Few bubbles and a search for authentic flowers. Fat reduced to a minimum as soon as he understood how painful they were to dispose of for the metabolism. His diet was also integrated with medical plants, which are also easily found at the local street market. His favorite herbs were basil, mint and rosemary, which he did not use often, but whose scent and essence he loved. He had no particular intolerance, and the only preference he made about food was for salty over sweet food. Thanks to the kitchen, he had known the sea of the canary when he was still 20 years old, perhaps his last happy island of his past. He remembered Christmas 2001 well, that Christmas he fell part of a group of young romantics. All of them ended up in the paradise almost by chance, by searching Tel Dorado or simply cram of luck. He, at the time, he was a beardless 20 years old and his owners were nothing more than 30 years old or so. They had worked hard all year, so the owners rewarded the group, keep the shop closed on the Christmas day and celebrate all together the working year spent in a restaurant they trust. Needless to say, it was a big party that lasted until New Year's evening if not behind. At the time, he was in love and fragile. First, in the summer, he had lost his mind for a young Mexican girl. Then, in the fall, he had fallen in love for another girl, who, like him, was part of that little world. She was shy and insecure, close up like a hedgehog in herself divided between an absent boyfriend and a life that was 
struggling to take off. He want to give her the keys to open her shell, but it was also that a wasted and never consummated love. As an Italian singer sang, the thought of love and a kiss not given. He barely snatched only one from her, which he still remember. His snatch hit right on Christmas evening. Both the share for a few days the same feverish state that is the strange desire that arises between two lovers, simply in thinking of being able to be happy together. This was what he kept in his memory of that particular Christmas. Comparing 2020 to this Christmas, it sounded to him like a massive blasphemy.